All right, here's the sump drainage line and downspout re uh, rebuild issues. But basically, in a nutshell, that's the sump line was just uh, exiting into this gravel trench, and by was, the hope was that it would basically expel into the trench for the uh, uh, downspout drain line. But the fact of the matter is, the flow rate through that sump pump line is like a fire hose. It's not. It's not like a water feature. It, it comes blasting out. So that sump line needs to be pretty much free and clear. So found that out in the flood rains two years ago. And the other problem was I had set that line in instead of using a double L and angling it, I just basically, it soldered just this nut, uh, 90 elbow onto the end there. And it, it, it and that weld it fractured. And I got my boo. Uh, excavation assistant but what really surprised me was I was expecting this whole trench to be filled with tree roots and um, all that but the roots were pretty much all above the line of that and then the union of the patio covered downspout and that and the, I didn't see any water in here either standing water or anything yet so it was pretty solid um, I guess original design. The new new line is going to use four inch white PVC. You can kind of see it right there, and it's going to go along this dog run area, and then expel with a pop up uh, past the tree right there. So if that sump pump ever kicks on, it will be uh, blowing the water way beyond uh, the foundation.